Hey guys, so I'm back with Crusader Kings 3, and today I'm going to be attempting to survive as this faith here. This is the only province of this faith in the entire game. I know that this faith is similar to it, I'm pretty sure. But let's actually jump into it and see um, what we're doing here. So, our holy sites are like scattered around Nepal and uh, northern India here. I think we're unreformed. Yeah. So, I think the goal for this campaign is going to be actually reforming our faith. Because this is a pretty tough start. And immediately looking at our guy, he is pretty garbage. He has a sinful trait, and his other two traits are like garbage too. Um, intrigue is like the worst um, lifestyle in the entire game. And our traits are bad. But I'm pretty sure that we will be able to beat this guy. Especially if we wait for um, Mercs. I could also increase the size of our, our men at arms. I'm probably going to increase the size of our men at arms because that's actually permanent instead of the Mercs. So. so I just hired Pikemen here, which are great mountains. And this guy's entire province is mountains. So I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to win this. Alright, there we go. And we actually now have our first holy site. So that's like, I think it's... There's five of them in total? One, two, three, four... Five? Oh, this one's gonna be a pain. I didn't even notice this one. And I actually forgot to show off the faith itself. So... This one's meh. Actually, I, I think it's pretty bad, honestly. Um, This one's okay because of the vassal opinion that you get. This one's okay also, since most of our religions that surround us are Eastern. It actually isn't too bad of a faith. The worst part of the faith is that it's unreformed, which is like, which like kills you, so. Alright, there we go. Alright, and I just actually formed the duchy. And it's time to finish this guy off. Oh, but actually I'm gonna do this one. I, I can't believe I'm gonna have to surrender this. He's just gonna drain my money even more. Ah, uh, this sucks. Already we are facing a roadblock from a dude with one province. Alright, and our ruler finally died. He was pretty bad. <laughs> there are certain cases where intrigue is useful. My case isn't one of them. And now I have an even worse ruler because a disfigured gives like a opinion malice, I'm pretty sure. And now we're depressed. Hopefully I don't have to play this guy too long. He sucks really bad. <laughs> like he he is terrible. This guy's even worse. I'm actually thinking of disinheriting this guy, just so my daughter can inherit, since her traits are actually good, and she's going into a good focus. Let's see, can I... So, so it's equal? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to disinherit him. I think I'm going to save up money for this temple here. It will give us, like, it will double our tax income, and plus it will give us all these good things here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to relax. I probably won't even conquer as this guy, even though I probably should. Just so I can get this temple here. Because this this is like a great building to build. And in doing that, it looks like this guy vassalized himself to this guy. Look at this. Like, Can I kill this guy? No. Oh my god. Like This guy's massive. And plus he went to learning. So that means that he's going to live, like, forever. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here. Like, I, <laughs> there's literally nothing else I can do. I could swear fealty to him. But uh, but it will give him a debuff to the amount of truce we have. And plus, I'm pretty sure his kingdom's going to fracture anyways. So, yeah. Alright, and the kingdom actually split apart. 
the Kingdom of Gooj. And luckily it looks like he's probably the weakest one that came out of that. Let's see. I can declare war for this duchy. And I have um, an ally that's right there. I think I am going to do this. Alright, here we go. No, oh, great, and I vassalized him. That's amazing. That that sucks. Finally, I can actually build this temple here. And with that, I'm actually gonna move my capital there. Since this is gonna be my prime like money-making county. We can become a witch right now. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't remember the specific buff that you get from Witch Coven. Let's see. It's okay. I might as well just do it. You know, like, all I need is four adult members of my house to be a witch, so it's pretty easy. And I'm going to switch this to male only. Actually, don't, to male preference. Just so I have less people to actually disinherit here. Alright, here we go. And I'm going to revoke this guy's title. We need as much, like, army as possible. This person allied this guy... And this guy. And somehow they got super strong. So like... I can't do anything right now, basically. I think I'm actually gonna swear fealty to this person. So I can actually like eat them from the inside. Because otherwise I'm kind of like just stuck here doing nothing, so... I think I'm gonna do this. Then... Do something like this. So they can't actually convert me. So yeah. I think that this is going to be worth it. Alright so she died. She was pretty good. And she lived pretty long. Now we have this guy who. Is pretty good. He has. Pretty good traits besides this one. I, I hate when stewardship is pretty bad. Oh my god. It looks like his kid's gonna suck. I guess I'm gonna probably disinherit this guy because, like, I, I hate both of these traits so much. Alright, and I have to do this. Because I can actually declare wars. Since since the crown authority is so high. So, yeah, I have a ton of allies. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go in there. Alright, let's go. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, she's trying to get my title. I don't know why she'd even attempt to do this. Because this guy's massive. Hopefully he doesn't die before this happens, because that will suck. I'm just going to decline this and go to war with her. Alright, here we go. And I'm gonna finally take my second holy site, which is a Katmandu here. There we go. And this guy was actually our most successful ruler yet. Hopefully this guy continues that trend. And it looks like I have to do this again. Oh my god. I don't have any allies right now. Well, I do have an ally, which is stronger than her. And her ally combined. This was definitely a mistake. Let's see. Let's see who will inherit. Her son. Hopefully he doesn't get any more claims on my territory. Because, like, I hate having to fight this war like every single year. I'm going to decline this, of course.
All right, here we go. All right, and I fabricated a claim on this duchy here, so I'm just going to take this. All right, there we go. And this sucks. He died in his sleep. And my youngest son inherited. Because I've... I'm, I'm at the point now where I can actually reform the faith. And these guys were in stewardship instead of learning. So now I'm just a baby. So let's see how this goes. And this is pretty interesting. Apparently, a crusader of the Luxembourg dynasty actually formed the kingdom of Jerusalem. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and I'm actually ready to reform my faith. I chose this one to replace the one that was there. This one's okay. I really like the, the piety gain they get from this. And this is really good for um, conquering in the east here. I would actually say that this is a pretty fun um, fun faith to play as. Um, I also gave myself a head of faith position because why not? Now let's reform it. Alright. So now here we are with our reformed you. You must faith. Let's see. Did it actually convert? Yeah, it is. Okay. So here we are. We've completed the challenge. We're making pretty good money. Pretty good prestige. Um, we have a lot of troops. The Mongols are starting to conquer, which is pretty scary. Um, George is huge. Algeria is actually owned by a crusader. Of the of the Piaz dynasty, which is pretty cool. He has a ton of prowess. Holy crap! But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make another video like this with this. Um, oh look at that, that's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna make another playthrough of this. I would like to spread the faith a little bit more. Um, just let me know. And thank you for watching.